place and and it's it's terrifying and it's uh, often incredibly humbling and, and you feel naked and awkward and foolish. Even even the the most sort of uncomfortable, ugly nights and um, it's much more satisfying than than anything else I was ever doing. Even even the, the horrible aspects of it are at least we own them. They're our things. You're not trying to to uh, make money. You're just trying to make something that you that you find uh, exciting, and engaging, and moving, and on some sort of emotional level. And I think that's what all the good art is. That's all. That's the only objective is to is to make something beautiful out of nothing. So tall I take over the street With high beams shining on my back The winds spread unbelievable I'm a festival, I'm a parade All the wine is all for me All the wine is all for me And all the wine is all for me set list for now until we skip we'll skip a lot of these um, here's where I'll freak out and and probably leave the stage for a while and try to smoke um, I'll realize that I can't sing this one here so we'll just not do it because um, I've been screaming for too long so it'll change around and, uh, but it's, it's nice to have a piece of paper to look at Here's the here's the um, the line that means encore, which um, which is a, a presumptuous thing to do. Um, so we'll see. Uh, without further ado, this is a band that was uh, Band of the Day on Spin.com, I think, like in April. Okay. They're originally from Cincinnati. They all live in Brooklyn now. And uh, they are playing two sold-out shows later this week in the area. Tomorrow at Warsaw and Friday at the Bowery Ballroom. These guys are hot. One day you'll say, I saw them once at Spin House Live. Um, without further ado, Beggar's Banquet recording artist, The National. Thank you. This is a love song. The National, I feel like, are one of those bands who fall in same kind of territory adopted by uh, groups like Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds and the Tinder Sticks. Because they're a band that rewards attentive listening, if you give them time, you're going to fall in love with those songs, and that they're a band you're going to love for the rest of your life. They're not particularly sort of taken by sort of you know fashion or um, or sort of the scene. They've always operated at, you know, sort of in their own world. They've always sort of been their own band. There's no posturing, there's no, there's no rock star moves, you know, there's no spandex pants. The band are who they are. I feel like they're sort of on the outskirts of the New York music scene. I feel like a lot of bands in the New York music scene right now are defined by a very specific kind of look, a very specific fashion, a very specific ethos. Um, I feel like the National are a bit different from that. They're one of the 
few bands that I've talked to who you really get the sense that these songs are inside of them and are dying to come out and that they have no choice but to let them out.